Should the court system stay open in the wake of rising coronavirus cases or should it be shut down? That was the subject of a special hearing today before an Allegheny County judge. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan joins us with what came out of it. Andy. Ken, late last week, President Judge Kim Berkeley Clark ordered the courthouse closed to all in person hearings. But today, a private attorney argued to shut down the entire court system. They should shut it down. Attorney Milt Rayford tried to make two cases. First, he wanted to indefinitely postpone the trial of his client, accused DUI defendant Vanessa Williams, on the basis that the courts are unsafe. Second, he wanted to shut down the entire court system. My client, Vanessa Williams, she wins. She got her postponement. But no, not everybody won. Judge Anthony Mariani granted the postponement, but said he didn't have the power to rule on the latter. Trials and hearings will continue over teleconferencing only, but Rayford is upset the court staff will need to stay put. The people with less in their bank account, the people with less savings, the people that are uh, teetering, trying to make ends meet, we left them in the building. A decision on shutting down the court system rests with President Judge Clark. But in an unusual move, Allegheny County District Attorney Stephen Zapala filed a brief citing unsafe conditions in the courthouse and in the district courts spread throughout the county. This, while one assistant district attorney is still suffering from COVID and another, Russ Broman, is back on a ventilator and in critical condition in St. Clair Hospital. Quote, each day we brace ourselves for updates regarding those ADAs who have suffered the greatest. And each day we brace ourselves for news about others in our office who may have contracted the virus. The pallet no longer wants his assistant prosecutors appearing in district courts and is making arrangements for them to appear only remotely. Likewise, Judge Clark says she wants teleconferencing whenever possible, but issued a statement saying the court system will remain open. Quote, the continued operation of the court is essential for those involved in the justice system, including the public, victims of crime, and those incarcerated and awaiting trial. Efforts are continuing to conduct as many court hearings as possible remotely through video conferencing. And so, by order of Judge Clark, the courts will remain open, if only by video conferencing. Reporting live downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.